In this example, we have another equation, 2x plus 3y equals 12, and we're told to graph it. And I'm going to graph it by finding the intercepts. The intercepts are the places where the, the line crosses the x-axis and the y-axis. We call it the x-intercept and the y-intercept. And when the equation is in this form, something times x plus something times y equals something, the intercepts are particularly easy to find. Watch this. 2x plus 3y equals 12. Now do this. I'll write this down. Let's let x equal 0 and see what happens. And this is easy. Look at that. If x is 0, then 2 times x is 0. So that's gone. And we're just left with 3y equals 12. And if 3y equals 12, it's pretty easy to see that y is equal to 4. So that's a point. x is 0 y is 4. We can plot the point 0 comma 4 and that's right here and that's where the line crosses the y-axis. That's called the y-intercept and it should make make sense to you that the y-intercept should be a place where the x-coordinate is 0 because any point along the y-axis has an x-value of 0 so we set x equal to 0 and that gives us the y-intercept. Now if we let y equal 0, okay, let's come back to our original equation here and think about y being 0. If y is 0, then 3y is 0. So we can just cross that out and we're left with 2x equals 12. And if 2x equals 12, then x has to equal 6. So that's another point. x is 6, y is 0. Those two values, those x and y values, give us another point. x is 6, y is 0, right there. And two points is all you need. Two points determines a line. If you have two points, there is one and only, li one, and only one line that goes through both of those points. So we can then sketch in the line, and we're done. And that's a useful technique for graphing a line whenever you have the equation in this form. Something times x plus something times y is equal to some number. Let's look at a couple of other examples. 5x minus 2y is negative 10. And a lot, of, a lot of times the numbers are convenient, especially in the early examples in a math class. The numbers conveniently work out nicely. And you can do some of this in your head. I'll write, I'll, I'll write it down as I think it, though. Look here, 5x minus 2y is negative 10. So first, I'm going to let x equal 0. And you can just kind of cross that out or put your finger over it. Don't cross out that negative sign, though. This is 5x minus 2y. This minus goes with the 2y. In fact, you can think of that as 5x plus negative 2y. So think of that as negative 2y. And you cross out the 5x because x equals 0. So 5 times x equals 0. That leaves you with negative 2y equals negative 10. So y has to be 5. So let's plot the point on the y-axis where y is 5. Okay, now let y equal 0. If y equals 0, then we have 5x minus 0 is negative 10. That's just the same as saying 5x equals negative 10, so x has to be negative 2. And that's the x-intercept. So we found the y-intercept and the x-intercept. Now we can draw in the line. OK, one more. Graph 3x plus 2y equals negative 6. OK, same approach. Let x equal 0. This will give us the y-intercept. If x equals 0, we have 2y equals negative 6. So y has to be negative 3. So let's plot that point. x is 0, y is negative 3. That's right here. And then let's let y equal 0. Okay, if y is equal to 0, we're left with 3x equals negative 6. So x must equal 
negative 2. And that's right here. And then two points is enough to draw on the line. Now let me point out one thing. All of the equations we've been graphing here have been equations in this form. AX plus BY equals C. Where X and Y are our variables and A, B, and C are just numbers. We could call them constants. AX plus BY is equal to C. And an equation for a line in this form is said to be in standard form. This is called the standard form of an equation for a line. And any line, any line in the xy plane can be represented by an equation in that form.